Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to my video. Today is just a simple video where I'm gonna go about working on my chores and just talking to all of you and sharing with all of you things that I'm thinking about and things that I'm working on and things that are just on my heart today. You know, I always tell you that we go through chapters in our lives and lots of times we are in the valleys and sometimes we're in the mountaintops. And I'm just really at a point in my life where everything is just falling together so nicely. And it's been a long year for all of us. And I am I climbed that mountain and I'm like on the top of it and I'm looking down and I never dreamed that I would be on top of my mountain. And it's such a good feeling. Of course, we all go through valleys and I'm sure someday I will go through valley again. But right now, things are just so good. and. Things are just so peaceful in my life and things are just absolutely wonderful. And I'm just so happy. And all through last year, I kept saying to myself, you know, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. It's gotta get better. But yet when you're in that valley, it's so hard to think about things getting better. I really am devoting a lot of time to doing things that I enjoy, not worrying about tomorrow so much and just focusing on today. And that has really changed me so tremendously. I don't have anxiety anymore. I don't have panic attacks. And I'm so thankful for all that. As you know, I'm prone to that. And there's certain things in our life that we are prone to having. It's just maybe genetic makeup or whatever you want to call it. And so I know when life gets stressful, that is a weakness that I have. And I'm realizing through this year, especially, to not focus so much on what ifs, but focus on what now and right now and living in the moment. And I am, I'm really enjoying it. Now, maybe it's because the springtime is here and the birds are starting to sing and the sun is starting to shine more and the days are becoming longer. Maybe that has a lot to do with it. Spring hopes eternal, you know, it's just beautiful the springtime and spring makes you feel like positivity and it makes you feel like you have a whole clean slate of ready to write on it, you know, your life story. I like the age of 52. Now the beginning in January when I turned 52, that was a rough month because my husband and I were sick. But you know what? Now 52 is a nice age and let me tell you why. I think when you get older, you start losing, you start shedding some of that insecurities that you've had growing up. I think when you get older, you're more set in your ways and you're more standing firm on your beliefs. I think you don't worry so much what other people think when you're in your 50s. When you get older, you don't worry so much about what other people think of you. I think when you're older, you just think of things that you enjoy more. I mean, it seems like that. And a lot of people have said that about that. You know, they say when they got older, they stopped worrying so much. They, you know, they just focused on their life and focused on the things that they were doing. And I just love it. You know, getting older does have its aches and pains. I realize that. And I realize that getting older, you do become more wise and more mature. And maybe I am a slow learner and maybe I'm just took me a lot longer, but I'm really thankful that I was sheltered as a young girl. And I'm, I'm thankful now looking back on it, that I was very sheltered. Being on YouTube for five years has really opened up my horizons and it made me grow up. It made me grow up and living in the public eye like I do, you know, it makes you grow up. <laughs> and I am so glad that I had that opportunity because I am a better person for it. And I learned so much more through it. And it's been a learning, a learning experience, that's for sure. And it's been a journey. And I'm just so thankful for that journey. And I really want to thank you guys so much for being there for me over the years. And just sharing your heart with mine and helping me in tangible ways when there was times where I needed help in tangible ways. And, you know, God uses all of us for different reasons in our life. And there's been many times I received a letter in the mail just at the right moment when I was feeling really inadequate and feeling really down. And you guys have always lifted me up. One of the things my daddy used to always say about me is my enduring spirit. 
and how I'm childlike. Because, see, my daddy was always childlike. Now, of course, he wasn't my birth father, but he was the only father I have ever known. And being adopted, he is my daddy, and he will always be my daddy. And he was childlike, and I was always like him, even though we didn't share the same blood or DNA. It was a learned thing with me. It was a learned behavior. And those are the thoughts I think about. You know, when I think about my childlike spirit, that comes from my dad and he will always be deep in my heart and while i think about my parents daily you know you don't forget about your loved ones that are gone the pain and the sting of it isn't there so much i think because i incorporate them in my life every day and i think that it, that is something that is such a blessing to me because i was able to do that the story goes when my birth father lost my mother he got rid of everything and i'm the opposite and when I lose a loved one, I hold on to those things and I cherish them. They become everyday, everyday life with me and all of the things around me, I feel it. I know things don't have a presence, but yet I feel my parents with me. Just sitting beside me is something so simple, so benign, but yet it's part of my parents. My aunt made this for my mother and it's ceramic and it's sitting right beside me. I grew up as a little girl, always picking this up and mama going, no, no, Tessie, don't touch that. You know, something simple like this. And now I hold it in my hand and I think of my mom and my dad. Of course, we don't need things to remember our loved ones, but things for me are tangible. I am not a minimalist. I would never be one because things bring healing to me. Now you have to have a boundary of not too many things, but just sitting here reminds me so much of my loved ones. Well, right beside me here is Grandma Fanny, my husband's grandma. This was hers, and I cherish this. And because I took care of her up until she died, this is something that I cherish. Everything in my house is from loved ones. I've had some YouTube friends that have passed away in the last two years. They have given me things, and I remember all those things, and they're here. Everything that people give me, I save it, and I cherish it, and I love it. It has given me a lot of healing. It's given me a lot of healing, just a lot. And so those are the things I'm thinking about. You know, when we think about our loved ones, we, there is that sadness, there is that hole in our heart that will just never quite go away. But through the years, we can heal from them and we can, we can move on from them and we can live our life in joyous and happiness. Even though there are times that are great sorrow, there are times that I shed some tears over my loss of my parents and my in-laws, which were very close to me. They were my closest friends and my husband's grandma, which was my grandma. <laughs> you know, you think about all these things, but you think of them with a happy heart and you think of good memories and you think of happy times. And you know, we have that assurance that if we accept the Lord as our savior, he has forgiven us our sins and we will see our parents someday, our children someday, our grandchildren someday, our husbands, our wives someday. So this world is not our home. It's just a temporary home. I'm renting some space here in this world, but my home is in heaven. And that's where I long to be when my time is. I'm enjoying life right now. Yes, we're living in troubled times. And so many times I hear people say, oh, they just want to go home. But yet while we have breath, we have a reason for living here and God has a reason for all of us and a calling for all of us. Every single one of us, God has called us for something, for a great purpose. And we want to embrace that, whatever that is, even when the calling seems extremely hard and extremely taking you out of your comfort zone. God has a reason for everything and we need to stand on him and rely on him and trust on him. Don't trust what the world is saying, my friends. Trust what God is saying. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.